Hello, Year 7, Mr. Wright here, uh, just giving you a bit of an introduction and a quick knowledge check before you do your end of term assessment MCQ. Um, if you think you already know what you're doing with uh, all of the sections in this knowledge check, then you can get started straight away. If not, keep listening and I will just break down each section so you know what you should be doing to get started. So the first section, we're using lattice multiplication. You need to work out the size of each of the grids. So the first one we can see is going to be a two by one grid because of the number of digits on both sides of the multiplication. You need to work out for all three the sides of the grids and make sure you're adding the diagonals and remember to do any exchanges. Uh, solving using bus stop division. So remember the number that you are dividing goes inside the bus stop. The number you are dividing by goes on the outside. And uh, remember your remainders. Calculating missing angle in triangles. The first one, we just need to find the difference from 180. The second one is an isosceles. Look at the lines, make sure you know where the two equal uh, angles are. So you know how to do that with your bar model. And are the following factors of 40? So you need to use some of your divisibility tests and uh, possibly your factor pairs to work out if each of these are indeed factors of 40. See if you can remember the definition of a factor. So I would say, uh, about six minutes for this entire thing should do you fine. If it's more than eight, then definitely stop and focus on the quiz. Uh, but about six minutes hopefully should do the trick. So pause the video now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do again, so that some people, if they've uh, got the hang of this can get straight on with the exercise. I'm gonna put the answers up first. Uh, you can tick and fix. And if you think you, you don't know where your answers have gone wrong or you want to check uh, my workings, then afterwards I will show you on the webcam uh, some of my laid out workings. So firstly, here come the answers. So the last multiplication there, hopefully we saw the first two were commutative, but you could still lay out those grids. And the third one, we know that some exchanging is going to go on. The bus stops, answers are here. The missing angles, we needed the difference. And then with this one, we could see that the two base angles were gonna be 32 and the remainder was gonna be at the top and are the following factors of 40. The trick there particularly was D because that's a multiple of 40, but it's, it's in the 40 times table, but it's not a factor of 40. If you divide, you will not get an integer. So if you've uh, got the hang of these and you know the working, then just tick and fix and then when you're ready, move on to the MCQ. There is no password, so you just need to go on and do it. Um, and uh, for everyone else, I'm just going to show you now on the camera uh, how we would lay those workings out if you are unsure for any of those sections. Okay, I know you can see two sections here, but we'll just go one by one on these. So first we're looking at the lattices. So remember how we lay it out. 15 multiplied by 6, I like to make it look uh, like the equation there. And we're filling in these numbers. 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. 5 multiplied by 6 is 30. And then add the diagonal. So in the first diagonal is a 0. In the second diagonal, 3 add 6 makes 9. Third diagonal is just a 0. So the answer is 90. 6 multiplied by 15. Again, as we said, it's commutative. So you just need to make sure uh, that you're laying it out correctly and you should have ended up with the same answer. And then a little extra to do over here with the uh, with the exchanges. So a three by one grid when we fill these out. Uh, eight in here, four and eight make 12. So we keep the two, we carry the 10 tens, we exchange the 10 tens into 100. So one add six add one makes eight and the zero there, so the answer is 828. So just be careful with those exchanges that you're remembering to put them there, and then also remembering to count them when you add the diagonals up. Okay, move down a little bit, and we can focus on the bus stop divisions here. So the first one hopefully should have been fairly straightforward, deliberately did it without needing to use any, uh, exchanging any remainders. Uh, the second one is where we start to introduce remainders. So we can see here, zero threes go into two with a remainder of two. So those two hundreds now become 20 tens. So 20, how many threes and 23? Seven makes 21 and the remainder of two, which we exchange over 
into 21s, 3s into 27, go 9. Uh, and very similar ones over there. So just make sure that your notation looks exactly the same as mine and any you're not sure about tick and fix and ask me if you have any questions, but hopefully we were able to get through those once we got into the swing of them. With the two triangles, uh, the bar model was the best way of laying it out. So with the first one, we knew 180 degrees in total because we know interior angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. We've got our two angles that were given 32 degrees and 48 degrees and our mystery angle here, which we know sum to 180. If your bars are differently sized to mine, absolutely fine. I've just tried to make it fairly proportionate based on how you'd uh, see it as you're drawing it out. We can simplify by adding these two together, 32 add 48 will give us 80 degrees. And so we just need to subtract from 180 to get our answer of 100 degrees. And I'm just going to put the unit there just in case this was your final answer in both those cases. Uh, with the isosceles triangle, first thing to do was to check uh, via the lines which two angles were the equal ones. It turns out it was the 32 and the other one that we weren't working out was also a 32 plus our mystery unmarked angle. The two 32s add to 64. 64 adds something, gives us 180. Once we do the subtraction, you can see my notations here uh, with the column subtraction. Just remember to put the symbol in there. 10 take away four is six because we needed to exchange uh, one of the tens into 10 ones. Seven uh, tens left over, take away six will give us one. 100 subtract zero is 100. So 116 being your final answer. Again, any problems, then uh, please let me know. But hopefully this is now enough to get you started on the MCQ. As I say, no password. Uh, please let us know in DMs your scores and any questions and make sure to leave all of the feedback. I've tried to make the instructions fairly clear. So, uh, but any problems, please let me know. Okay, good luck and I will see you tomorrow.